Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vim PF and on today's episode we're doing another Whiskey In, Whiskey Out, this time for the month of September 2023. Now, if you don't know by now, where have you been? But these videos are simply the bottles that I got in through my door this month and the bottles that are going out to the recycling as soon as I finish this video. Now, uh, before I get into it, I want to do a quick shout out to my uh, Discord server. Something I don't talk about very often and I pro probably should talk about a little bit more often. There's a link in the description below, but it's a really great place for a few, there's a hundred people in there now odd who are all talking about not just whiskey, but all aspects of their lives. If they want to, you can engage in any way, shape or form, but uh, it's the best way of getting hold of me as well. I've, I've kind of pulled myself off social media a little bit. I'm not, not really vibing off Facebook anymore. I've removed the app on my phone for Twitter. Uh, I still have my accounts, so it's still there. Um, I do do a bit of Instagram every now and again, but um, not enjoying the social media experience at the moment, I have to admit. So, uh, Creating my own kind of space on Discord seemed to be the way to go. Um, yeah, I know that there's a lot of Discord servers right now, but yeah, check out my little space if you're interested. Now, usually on these videos, looking back on my previous Wee Woos, it's been traditionally something like four in, four out, or five in, five out, whatever, that sort of range of numbers. This is a bit of an understated month this month, so I've got uh, three in, three out, which is a, an interesting one, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, but can't say fairer than that. Drinking consumption has gone down a little bit. Buying power has gone down a little bit for me at least. Hopefully uh, over the next few months that will pick up a little bit as we go in because I finally finished paying for my In the Welsh Wind cask which is now going to be maturing for another couple of years but that increases my monthly budget a little bit that's for sure. But in any case let's get straight into whiskey in and uh, we'll see what we got. Now first of all I'm going to get this out of the way because it's huge. Now I've been sent this by uh, Mark Littler who is another YouTuber, actually you should definitely check him out, I'll, po I'll pop a link in the description below if I remember, but he does, um, he's a, a whiskey broker and an antiques dealer and he does his videos uh, based on that, you know, he, he's self-confessed, he doesn't do many tastings or he doesn't really like doing tasting notes, so he's coming at it from his strengths which is like whiskey investments, what not to do, what to do. Uh, and more about the kind of history of bottles and some really quite good expensive bottles as well. Um, check his channel out anyway. But yeah, anyway, what he's done is he got in touch with me recently and a bunch of us uh, YouTubers and, and whatnot to do a, a vertical slice of Johnny Walker, which is, you know, it's going to be popular. This is going to be a, a video that we do. But um, he sent me this to do my review and unfortunately it's going back to him. But um, that's uh, that's been recorded and hopefully, I don't know when you're going to be seeing that, but it's going to be coming. So I'm going to review this as well. Um, so don't worry about missing that. But um, yeah, I'm going to review this as well as as it is. But this is the tape. This is the set for the Johnny Walker 18. Um, the normal release is like 70 quid. This is 90 apparently. But if I do this without too much ASMR nonsense, it's it's a pretty nice set to be honest. It's got a, a full size bottle of the 18 in there and two little minis which in my opinion actually bring up the value quite significantly if if you're into that sort of thing, this is what I've said, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, a, a, a fun little pack and, and if you're into packaging, speaking of Jeff Whiskey, if you're into packaging then this is pretty exceptional, you know, I, it's a, it's, I mean it's really quite weighty as well but I'm going to put this back here out of the way, I didn't want to put that in front of the other stuff. Okay, moving on then, so next up we've got um, Eagle Eyes would have seen this review last week. This is the cask and bottle Manic Moore 10 year old. Um, I uh, I'll Go and watch the video of that. I'm not going to sit there and tell you what I think about it uh, now because that's not the point of these videos and I'll come back and do that properly when I do my bottle kill but um, a reasonable drop. It's not cheap at 85 quid but then there was, if you go to that video, there was a discount code for 10% off which I think brings it just about into the realms of possibility. Um, it's you know, in their defence, it's not cheap to be able to release whiskey. I've tried. It's not cheap. Uh, finally, then, for Whiskey In, we've got the Stowning, Stowning. I've never quite nailed that pronunciation. This is the Smoke, but this is the Summerton Club release. Um, should be covering this fairly soon, to be fair. I always try to get my Summerton videos out as quick as possible. But, um, yeah, just haven't managed it yet. It's an interesting whiskey. I've struggled with Stowning in the past. Um, their rye was not not a personal favourite of mine um, but uh, I've tried a few of theirs as well and their, their Stawning Bastard was pretty good I enjoyed that but um, I won't spoil my, my video review of that that should be coming out in a couple of weeks but um, yeah not bad I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it 
All right, like I said, just three. So now we'll get into the whiskey outs. In fact, actually, really, it's only two because one of them is a cognac. This is a, oh, that's being blown out by the, by the lights. But yeah, anyway, this is a, a Hermitage cognac, and this is from the 2005. Um, absolutely stunning. Um, I'm not a huge cognac drinker, but I do like a good cognac. And um, I vibed off this. I tried to keep it on my shelf as long as possible. Um, but because of this massive punt in the bottom here, like I get my thumb almost right in there. Um, it, it When it got to that point, when it got to below the label, there basically was hardly any left in it because of that huge void that's in there. So I just got it killed, basically. But um, really enjoyed that. But I am now cognac-less. So I need, I need another cognac. Uh, any recommendations below for a reasonably priced cognac? I, I'm not spending whiskey money on cognac, please. But something that's in the kind of 30, 40, maybe close to 50 mark, let me know in the comments below. Moving on then, we've got the Indri single malt, Indian single malt. Um, this is incredible. Um, I've, I enjoyed every drop of this. Um, it's It was, I don't know what it is now, but it was 35 quid. Uh, I assumed when I got it, um, they sent me this. I, I'm no, you know, no, no shame in saying, but they sent me this, and um, I remember thinking I didn't look at the price. I just popped it and tried it, and I thought, oh my god, here we go, another uh, subcontinent tropical whiskey that's just going to be far too expensive to get over here. Then I googled it, and it was 35 quid. What an absolute steal! Um, this is going to be highly rated in the upcoming Oswas. I'm sure most of you know what that is. Link in the description below if you don't. But um, for it, I'd be very surprised if this doesn't win World Whiskey on that. Very surprised. Um, not trying to lead you in any way, shape or form on that. Please don't vote based on what I've said. Only vote if you've tried it. But it is incredible. And if you haven't tried it, get it. Finally then, we've got the, uh, the Henstone Distillery Old Dog Corn Liquor. Um, I did, when I did my video of this, I said liqueur on the video, and my god, did I get hounded in the comments for that. Um, pronunciation is a funny thing, guys. Some of us have speech issues and uh, learning difficulties and whatnot. So, um, yeah, if we say things wrong on YouTube, be kind. You know, it's not always the easiest thing to read when you're trying your best. But anyway, so this is the Old Dog Corn Liquor, um, 41.5% uh, English distillery, of course. They, this is what they they're calling it their um, bourbon equivalent, and I have to say, I think they're doing themselves a disservice by by calling it that. Um, it's an old bourbon recipe, as it says on here. It's not like a current bourbon, but if you go into it thinking that you're going to get bourbon vibes, you're not. Is the is the the key factor? This you're not going to get like it's not going to taste like a two year old Kentucky bourbon or an aged one. I mean, this is. The, you can't see the colour of this thing, but it was it was only a year old, you know. It was, a, it, and they don't put that on the bottle either. I don't think, no, um, which is a shame again because they're missing out on some really key details with that. Only a year old, and it was really good. I really enjoyed this whiskey. Uh, can't call it a whiskey. It was only a year old. You know what I mean. This is what I'm talking about. Be kind. Um, yeah, it's it was good stuff. It was good stuff, and it was cheap as well, but um, mainly born out of necessity because it was you know it, it's definitely weird, right? It was a weird thing to try and do. But I'm glad that they're doing it, and that's what I like about Henstone. If you if you're interested in in kind of English distilleries, make sure you go and check them out because they they're doing weird stuff, man, and it's good. I'm there for it. I'm there for the weird. There you go. That's uh, whiskey and whiskey out for this month. Um, like I said, a light one. Uh, I've got some more stuff coming up in the future. So, and as always, all these bottles will be uh, in the description below. You can click on the links, and that's the same for all of the ones in the past as well. You can go back and check on them and find easy ways of finding links out. But um, I would normally say, which ones of these would you want me to bump up? But really, that's already done. This is going to be coming soon. This is going to be coming soon. So you don't really need to do that this month. But I always like to hear what your whiskey in and whiskey outs are this month. You know, So let me know what you've killed and what you've bought. Chuck it in the, in the comments below and we'll have a chat. In any case, I'll see you again on more videos, more reviews coming up soon, more Sample Saturdays, more Wee Woos, more, more, more. Bring on Christmas. Probably going to have an advent calendar again this year, but I'm going to try shorts this year. Don't care about that. Anyway, I'll see you again on more videos for maybe some more polished professional stuff coming up soon. Cheers.